Yeah. All right. Hey, guys. We're here with you guys with episode, what, two? Yeah. Episode. Open Spirit Podcast. It's your boy, Bada Boom, Rose Guy in the Room. It's your boy, Live City. You know the vibes. New York versus the world. And it's your favorite, Kipple, Cripple Country Quad. Thanks, your boy, doing the Joker. You already know. Oh God! Um, so, what are we on today about the Tyson fight? What uh, Tyson and the Fury's father? Yeah, that one. Yeah, I got a feeling it's gonna be looking like father. two elderlies fighting each other over the last thing of putting in the retirement home. I don't know how they booked that dad to even get into that fight. Dude, he's going off just cockiness, I think. Like, cause that dude walks slow when he be in his son's interviews and shit. He be walking hella slow. <laughs> mm. I mean, I think, though, I think Mike Tyson might be able to fix that problem with that left hook. Right, Iron Mike is about to murder him, bro. In my opinion, honestly, oh, it's over. Like, we got to Iron Mike. <laughs> He's a shell of himself. No, he is, but he'll still knock any average motherfucker out. Yeah, oh, yeah. Average? Yeah. I'm, See, I'm, he did I'm, it. I'm, that was his last fight. I forgot. He, he, bro, that's why he, he looked bad, bro. I'm sorry to say that. He fought Roy Jones Jr. I forgot. Wow, that fight was so bad. Remember, we, we streamed that fight, so yeah, I, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. That fight was so bad. Remember, that fight was bad, bro. This might be oh, it either. Was so bad. <laughs> it was so bad. It was horrible. Like, what was the main part of that fight? Was it Mayweather and uh, the Logan? The yeah, Paul it was yeah. Mayweather and Logan, yo. And bro, that shit, bro, it's gonna be so bad. The, the dad is big though. The Fury dad, he's big, like, you know, he's tall, he's got reach, but I'm telling you, bro, he walks slow as fuck. He gonna fall over on his own. <laughs> you know, this guy did not just say that. Yeah, he's just trying to like act like a it's boxer a, for himself, yeah. It's been a year of upsets though. I don't know, you know what I mean? I don't, I want, I want to go Tyson, but listen, these Fury brothers is, this whole Fury family is on some weird training regimen where you don't think that they look that part until you're shocked. actually in the ring with them and then you're like, fuck, these niggas can actually box. You right. They'll punch you hard as shit. You know they all punch so hard. You know, they're huge. I would that like get knocked out. out. I don't think no one's gonna get knocked out. Uh, we should stream it though, definitely. When it comes, we should do it. You know, of course, that's... Ah, yeah, we'll do it. And that's not. What? Undercard, bro. That is. Yeah, it's only the undercard. Who the fuck is the main fight? (sighs) That I have no idea. Because that fight, the. No, it's it's, it's Jake. uh, It's it's Logan Paul and someone else. And then it's Tommy Fury and KSI. Oh, who's winning that fight? Listen, everyone, everyone has a hatred for these YouTubers going into fights, but forget that these niggas have been training the last four or five years. Oh, and it's October fourteenth, so it's coming up. Yep, it's that. I can't remember the dude's name, but yeah, I want to say he's like. Conor McGregor's trainers or something. Yeah, he's been Dylan talking Donis. shit. He's, is Dylan what? Dylan Donis. He's like an Irish dude. Yeah, yeah, he's been talking shit about his uh, his girl and shit. Logan Paul's girl. Hey, shit. He's been, nah, he's been going. Look at when y'all get the chance. Look at the post, man. He's been saying all type of reckless shit about Logan. Like normally. You know, like when Conor McGregor was saying shit about, you know, his other, the other dude's wife and his DMs and shit. You know, like, yeah. it's just kind of shit to, like, just agitate you. Nah, yeah, nigga, this shit. nigga has been, this nigga has been going off every day. He's been posting a picture because I guess Logan Paul's girl is like a model or some shit. I don't know exactly what she okay. does, but, you know, she takes a lot of pictures of people. This nigga has been posting nonstop photos of like, yo, this girl's with every single guy. Just He's been mm-hmm. finding the pictures and posting those pictures it's been like it's been crazy i, I like I, I haven't seen it a lot but i've been 
you know, slowly keeping tabs on it. You know what I mean? I like a little bit of controversy. That's Sound crazy. pretty. That's dope. <laughs> <laughs> Super <laughs> tight. <laughs> but I mean, you know, with the UFC now merging, you know, with the fucking WWE. That's what I'm saying, bro, because he's in story WWE. events unfold, yeah. <laughs> oh, drilling in WWE, bro. Although I don't think this fight is under the UFC contract, actually. Because Logan Paul, I think it might. I don't. I don't think it's under uh, Jake Paul's fighting thing either. I'm not sure who's sponsoring this event, but that's actually a good idea. While you guys talk, I'm about to look up who is actually sponsoring that event. That is interesting. Uh, Camp's got to be involved somehow, you know, because the dad's on it, so they are always heavily influenced in the shit going on. But what do y'all think about Logan Paul using steroids? I believe it. I think all of them upper yeah. echelon athletes do at yeah. least some do some Bro, type it, of drug. It's, it's normal. Like I had a homie yeah, yeah. who does steroids. He trains in UFC. He's like, once my muscles get to a certain point, I have to like use steroids in order to like like go past a oh. certain max or some shit. Oh uh, shit! I believe it. That's what I'm saying. I guarantee you, at some point, they all have done it. Just Yo, to like get themselves to the next level, and maybe they stop and then just keep pace to stay at the next level. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it back in baseball. What? I might like, put it back in baseball. That's when niggas was hitting home runs every game and shit. Bro, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, wrestlers was in steroids, bro. So bad they had to go to federal court and testify in front of Congress. Vince McMahon. Like every sport had a steroid scandal. You feel me? Yep. Every single. That's what I'm like, put it back in baseball so I can watch the home runs. Make baseball exciting again. Oh, I don't think it should be should be allowed to get the same amount of steroids per season. You all you know get the I mean? same amount of steroids. It all depends on me. Look, Barry Bonds and them niggas was hitting home runs like crazy, bro. <laughs> like, Mike McGuire. You know how you push the turbo to go faster? Niggas just do a little steroids before the game. You get like X amount of steroids per season. And you can use them whenever you want. So niggas will never know. Yeah, hey. That's wild. wild. <laughs> That's wild, though. I'm like, I want to see the entertainment. I want to see niggas hit home runs. Bro, Jason G, I be mean, when he get out of shit, Barry Bonds, uh, Mike McGuire, all them niggas is on steroids, B. Well, that's even when, like, it's well, even in football, though. Hey, what's going on? Barry, that's a prison. Man, over yeah, here saying Mike McGuire. Who the fuck is Mike McGuire? Mark McGuire, whatever. Uh, Mike. Hey, yo, Mike McGuire. Can we get a mic over here? Mark's a little brother, homie. You feel me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's actually under prime. <laughs> but yo, you so don't remember Daryl Strawberry? That nigga went to prison for Coke, the Yankee. Daryl Strawberry. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking strawberries. And for betting on games, too. He went to prison for that. Bro, listen, if I had the money, I'm, and I was famous and I'm a sport, I'm betting on myself all the time. I'm just giving luck. Yo, my yeah. homie, I'm giving my homie 100000 Place this bet on me. Right. Get this game for sure. <laughs> for sure. Right. Come on, dude. Like, bet on me for sure. That's so crazy. always bet on themselves. You just gotta, you just gotta have someone you can trust on to, to make those bets. Joel, I trust you, bro. I don't gamble, so you know what I mean? They mean. Hey, I was just, you know, I was just saying in case of emergency, you know. But those are my gamble. Damn. About in the NBA. Bottom. They, uh, they in all games. Hey, listen, I don't gamble. I was trying to talk somebody out of gambling on me last night. Explain. Well, yeah, I got twenty dollars at Bottle Boom of winning two K. Somebody Did you win? Dollars. Don't give no context to the story. He just like he say a statement and then that's it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, it's true, but some people over here trying to win games betting on me in two K. Y'all got a better chance of betting me on me and playing Pokemon shit. Anyways. Oh, uh, are we done with that topic? We got we we get on to the next one. I mean, we all got there. They're like, damn, we're just. <laughs> we'll move on to the next topic, and when we're ready to move, like, if we've all had the same move on. We just could be just move on. 
Oh man, I love this podcast, bro. Oh, dude. yo, I love, I, yo, podcasts in general. Oh, are you, hey, hold up, hold up. Who was you about to say you love? Y'all heard him? Get down. You know. Who was you about to say you love, brother? You almost admitted it, bro. Me, myself, and I. Okay. Jim Carrey movie. No, me, myself, and Irene. That's a fire Jim Carrey movie, y'all. It, it always is. Another fire movie. Um, have you guys seen the movie Talk to Me yet? The what is it? Movie? I haven't seen it. Um, I was just wondering if you have seen it. That's what I'm asking. The, the horror movie? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. No, I haven't seen it yet. I know what you're talking about, but I haven't seen it yet. Actually, I just got it on my website for the, for the HD copy, but I just haven't watched it yet. Oh shit! Um, oh. I may, I might wind up watching it tonight. If I do, I'll let y'all know how it is. You dropping a review or what? Well, if I watch it tonight, I will. If I don't get to watch it tonight, when I wind up watching it, I'll drop the review after. I mean, I'm, uh, I've heard a lot of good. Uh, I've actually heard a lot of good reviews about it. Uh, honestly, this is uh, you watching a movie about it. Remember, I told you I'm messing with tarot cards and none of that shit. This is exactly why when you watch that movie, you're going to see exactly why I don't be fucking with that shit. Because it's like, oh, talk to me. Just make some type of connection. Now your life fucked up because you're fucking with demons. Exactly. Hey, but you know who I, I honestly could care less about fucking with demons, bro. That's what everybody say. That's what everybody is saying until your shit's really fucking up and you don't know yep. what the fuck is happening. I was like, I don't give a fuck about demons. Fuck them. Waking yeah, up their fucking fingers in the, getting bent the in the middle of the night. Oh, yeah, shit. I stuck your ceiling throwing up. Nigga, like, the fuck? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Man, right. fuck them demons, you, you, bro. You bad as shit, and you fall down your stairs on accident. All type of crazy shit start happening. Yeah. Everybody say it. Everybody always say that shit, bro. Until it's like last I'll second, and they the whole world. fucking life fucked up and shit. Then it's like, well, what happened? Why is this happening to me? Right. Why is this demon fucking with yeah. me? I just told That's my you dick. Need that, much. You need that. Uh, that. Uh, that playback in your mind. That when you go back in time and remember all that shit that you were saying. Man, if I could do that, there's a lot of shit that I would change. We're not even talking about that. <laughs> what, what would you change, Vada? Fuck it. I, I'm with it. You know what I mean? What, what, what you try to change, Vada? Just, just a lot of stupid life decisions. Okay, well, give us one. You can't say it tonight. You know what I mean? Give some examples. Like, 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 you know, how shit it? I don't have a good job right now. I don't have a car. I don't got a lot of shit. You know, I should have got my shit together earlier on. Boom. You still can, though, so don't trip. <laughs> yeah, trust me. Like, look, I'm getting shit together. It may not be where I want them, but, you know, it's going to be where I'm at. So. What? Yeah, y'all, y'all watch, watch. Question mark, huh? Question mark, what? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm waiting for somebody to write bottom. What do you mean by this? We are trying, trying to get his shit right. What you mean? We all know what you mean. I'm high as fuck right now, by the way. So clearly, it cl- very much clearly. But anyways, yes, that was what I would change if I could go back. Just having my shit all together, you know, earlier on. I would ask you to go in detail, but it's fine. I, I'll, okay, I'll take that thank you. That. I'll take that thank as that. Thank you. Thank Jules, you. Really that answer is acceptable. I just took the high road on that one. <laughs> I got a feeling Jules is like, Father, there's probably more to that answer, but you know what? Okay. You might even go and question it. Hey, see, I mean, there's nothing you can't question about it. You know, I gotta get myself better before you know. There's a, there's a lot. <laughs> oh, oh, is there's there? a lot. Yes, there's I mean, a lot. I guess, I guess I was. I guess I wish I could say certain things that I should have said before. Um, you know, taking advantage of opportunities when they were presented to me. Don't, listen, 
Those what are girl? the most vague right answer. Those are the most vague answers. Right. Well, exactly. I was, things I, I wish I could have changed. I wish I could have left. You know, I wish I could have, you know, did things different. Relax. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. Any, any any females you wish you could have get back? Yeah. yeah. Right. Female. You know what? There's a couple that I wish that I could have changed how things were. But, you know, I'm not even sure that there's one. There, there may be one or two of them out there that I have a possibility of fixing shit with. But why, wait, why are we on my topic of females when I never even brought up the topic of a female, this being about any of it? You did? I, I mean, no. You brought it up. Not right? a, no, no, no. I brought up what I would change. I didn't bring up with what, if there would be any females that I'd try right. to pick. You weren't with. specific on anything that you would change, so I had to go no, into no, something but, specific. No, it's cool. What, but if that's the question, yes, there is maybe a couple that I would change, but at the same time, how do I know that it would change for the best? Well, no, that's true. You never know. Like, you can go back and change things in your whole life. You could change something then the next day you get hit by a car because your whole shit changed and see that's yep. the whole thing of it is you can play the what if game in your head all you want but in reality the what if game is just that a game you can play it but you're gonna lose every fucking time because it's not the rea- the reality that you live in not i mean not necessarily it's the thing is learning from mistakes you could also be you can learn from the mistake and then if you get hit in that same position again you can make a different choice you can, yep. uh, but when and does that set like when when nurse chance? Yeah, but when do situations happen twice in the same? It's twice in a row that also mirror each other. Not that often. Lots of times. It definitely does happen too, though. I think yeah. it depends. You never, it depends. You never feel like you never feel like deja vu. Yeah, I get mm-hmm. deja vu all the time. I mean, I guess there's sometimes, but it's like. What is it though? Like, you can't trust it. What do you mean you can't trust it? Something. <laughs> no. No. Nah, you sound like you're talking about something very specific, but you hey, try to like yeah, overlay yeah, it. Like, <laughs> and I'm not talking about <laughs> anything specific at all. <laughs> you can't trust it. I'm like, <laughs> right. And certain decisions, I would have did this yeah, one. Like, did, okay, but I'm the, like, yeah. I'm sticking in cold right it. now. I feel like Bada's sending out a message. No. Wait, hold up. Am, am I messaging, you know, the, the dead? Am I me- am I messaging the dead kings and queens of the past saying, listen, you know, what, what am I doing? Who am I messaging, Jules? Who am I sending this message out to? Alien, you. Oh. you know, I mean, whoa, who? The listeners, the people are listening oh, to the podcast. Know, that could be true too. You know, shout out to everybody viewing us. If there's that many out there right now, you know, we appreciate it. <laughs> um, Dad, you should have a second for what? <laughs> what? What's going on? Oh yeah. How how's y'all football teams looking today? I know it's a no. Sunday. We probably won't be dropping this episode prior to like Monday or Tuesday, so you guys will probably already know the scores ahead. So if we can say some shit right now, we might be wrong or right. How's y'all teams doing right now? Well. Ravens lost, which is no surprise to me. I mean, mm. I've said it before. We do. I normally can tell from preseason how we're going to look. And as I said, oh, you're two and one. You're two and one. Yeah, Yo, the Dolphins scored 70 points against the Broncos today. The most in an NFL game ever. No, they didn't. You make a dolphin yeah. score 70 points for the Broncos. All record set. Crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, bro. Like, points. How many touchdowns? That's ten touchdowns, B. Bro, that's, that's like crazy. that's like Madden numbers when you play against someone who's not good. That's you're just running the game down. No, yeah. this is like throwing hail marys. Say, like, fuck you, bitch. Oh, uh, 
My Rams don't play till tomorrow, Monday night against Cincinnati. Yeah, we play tomorrow no, too against the Buccaneers. Bro, I'm right, going to my first snow game, yeah. and I get to and I get to see my Rams play the Giants, bro, in, in the uh, New Year's Eve. Bro, I got goal line seats New Year's Eve. I'm taking my son to my first NFL you know, game. It's it, my that New Year's about to be dope for a lot of us, live. Yeah, it's gonna be dope. I'm just gonna say it right now, Eagles three and zero tomorrow. Thank you. Oh, who you Eagle got playing? Bucks. Oh, e easy, easy peasy. Easy peasy, they all lose. Easy peasy. <laughs> Light work. Your girl body hate. I know. I hear. I hear him in the background. Hey, and this is okay for no reason. Goodbye, go. Eagles. For no reason. <laughs> Every so week, not, not even a real football fan. <laughs> hey, it's fine. I, look, I don't care if I'm a real football fan or not. He doesn't support the Ravens, though. Yeah, you gonna you gonna need him for moral support right now, brother. Hey, moral support. That's all I'm there for. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be an interesting season, though. Honestly, I haven't really to keep it hundred percent real with you guys. I haven't even been like that interested in sports, like either. I, like yeah. normally, like we usually be talking sports. There was a, even like a one or two season where me and Live was in like a fantasy. Then like my my love for sports has slowly declined. Like mm. I don't know if it's because I gotten older. Like that I really like unless I go to like my son's football games or unless it's an Eagles game. The interest ain't there. Really, watching football like normally i'd be watching football even if it wasn't my team playing you know what i mean like just because of the game yeah, exactly bro nah, I I literally don't care. The same way. like if it ain't my favorite team or my kids sporting events i really don't go okay. even looking about it looking for it and a lot of times i don't even think about it till somebody else brings it up right. exactly. i'm like oh, football you know maybe we're getting older guys yeah or, or sports is just getting gay or yeah. stupid. I mean, sports is just getting stupid as fuck. There's not as entertaining anymore, and it's just. Then again, I don't know. Once basketball season start up, you know. <laughs> yeah. Once that basketball you, season you start up, you know what I mean? Do y'all hear him? <laughs> I can't have any team, bro. Any team. <laughs> Next, you know, he gonna say he like the Mighty Ducks too. Never do that in my life. So I'm, gonna stop it. I'm gonna stop you right there, but I will never be saying anything about me liking the Mighty Ducks. Uh -huh. if it's gonna be, if it's gonna be hockey is gonna be the Philadelphia Flyers. <laughs> <laughs> the Mighty Ducks. Yeah. I, I, I don't even know if that's a real football. Is that a real hockey team? Is that a real football team? Is that a real I, hockey team? I don't. I think it could no, be like a good team. team. Yeah, I thought it was just like a fictional off the movie. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna have to look that up. This man said the Mighty Ducks out of all teams. He picks a fictional team. <laughs> Disney show, nigga. He couldn't pick any real team. He picked a fictional team. <laughs> Y'all remember they had that killer comeback season? <laughs> that was like the third movie. Remember when he got back shot on Toon Squad? I'm like, what? Oh, <laughs> Yo, I swear it was no. the first team to ever have a girl play for them. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia Estevez is in the Hall of Fame, coaches Hall of Fame. Boy, bottom man. I'm, I'm actually looking it up right now to see if Mighty Ducks is a real team, because I... They got like the Anaheim. No, I feel like they got the Anaheim. No, it's the Penguins, no, maybe. it's not. It's not. I'm just going to go ahead and say it's not. It's the Anaheim Ducks. It's the California. I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know. I guess I, I'm that not that big on hockey, but I ain't gonna knock hockey because I do want to get the hockey video game. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I do want to get the I'll NHL. Play the shit out of that game. You're bugging. I'll play the fuck out of that game. Man, Lop just wants the reason to fucking hit some, check somebody through a fucking uh, mirror. That's all bro, I'm doing. That's that's all I'm doing. Doing. Well, I'm boxing the whole shit. I'm bro, right? We gonna be kicked out of the game first quarter. I don't even know if they have quarters. No, me and Jules gonna be injuring niggas every game. Doof, doof, doof. Yeah. Oh, niggas. Right 
Bro, it's like you a know hockey you player box that they sit at when they get in trouble. The penalty yeah. box. Yeah. Yeah, well, you, you could just sit in there and probably give dirty looks and wait, get out and just beat in the go. I can see that shit happening right now. Got it, bro. Listen, imagine building a dope ass nigga and playing online and just checking niggas and beating them and them talking to us. Why are you keep. Shut the fuck up. Don't. We run right, this. You ain't looking at me, boom, bitch. Yeah, we getting that game now, bro. Jules, that's a fire pick. That's a fire I mean, pick. I'm, I'm definitely for that. Uh, just to let y'all know, because I just seen some urgent news. I just kind of want to throw this up there. Do y'all know who performing at the 2024 Super Bowl? Oh, my sure. Who? Oh, sure. Thank you. No, live is right, bro. And he's going to throw his Usher box. That's good. That's to be cool. I, I fuck. Listen, I rock with Usher. I fuck with Usher. That's what I said. I, was I like, don't know any of his newer songs, but if he hits the classics, I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah. My way, any of that shit. Hey, no, my way yeah. was the nigga. That was yeah. the that was the pimping song, bro. <laughs> that was yeah. my shit. Bro, and fucking remember when he was in that short club and threw Usher Bucks? I hope they drop Usher yeah. Bucks at that. Bro, no, the bro. Usher Bucks was like, insane, I was like, I was like, I bro. <laughs> Usher is a gangster, nigga. <laughs> that, that shit was insane. My man had his face on. And he, everyone in here thinking he throwing hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars. My man got his face printed on money. Oh, they had girls at the strip club like with videos like sweeping the Usher bucks up thinking they was getting paid and like niggas in the background laughing and shit. Like, they got home, <laughs> counted that shit up and looked at it. Usher bucks. Usher <laughs> bucks, nigga. <laughs> Just imagine being a millionaire just ripping people off at the strip club. Hey, that's how you say uh, millionaire. <laughs> that's Man, how I you would say it. Bro. I would do it 100%. I'll put my he face on some money. Right. I guess he do bucks. <laughs> I'd be in there throwing millions of dollars. People think I'm fucking rich, bro. I'd be in there throwing a billion dollars. A we all get a lap dance. We all get lap dance, VIP, private treatment, bring in the I bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep the lights off the whole right. time. Man. Right. Hey. I'm like, oh, y'all about to turn the lights back on? Hold up. Let me go to my car real quick. I got someone coming back. Yeah. <laughs> <Earth. laughs> oh. Let me run out and grab the rest of this extra bucks out the car. I'll be right back. <laughs> That is crazy. He really did that shit, bro. And got away with it, too. Like, he's like, I'm out of here, man. <laughs> but imagine him in there that night. They're playing all his R&B songs. You know them bitches went so hard. That's what I'm saying. Like, them bitches extra work for uh, for <laughs> fake-ass Monopoly money. I'm fucking yeah. Monopoly. That's a fact. Man, he said, I'm going to get every Monopoly game out there and throw fake-ass money from that game. Yeah, nah, he went and got that shit custom-made, the muscle box. He wants to use those in all his music videos. Yeah, <laughs> it's well, definitely his prop money, right? Oh, shit. So, so, we all know that Dr. Dre is like a great producer, right? Yeah. Tell me why this nigga's son is out making EDM music talking about I'm creating my own path. What? <laughs> bro, if you don't, I'm like, bro, you cannot listen. And I'm not, I'm not going to say you cannot because that sounds kind of just like bad. But I'm just like, bro, you have literally one of the greatest hip hop producers of all time, if not the greatest, just, you know, based on where you're from. Right. And he couldn't teach you how to do that? <laughs> My man said, nah, you know what? I'm going by DJ Tyler Young. <laughs> That's his name. DJ Tyler Young, if y'all do not know. And he is an EDM producer. Okay. And I listened to something. Was it any good or what? Uh, is there any good or what? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a first go by saying one. I don't listen to any EDM music. Period. That's that. Hold up, but EDM is like that. Uh, techno, like like. Do those. Jules over here beatboxing. Y'all hear this? I don't do those. 
Right. That shit is creepy. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I've been to an EDM party. I pulled up chicks that had feathers on and shit, all type of crazy yeah, shit. And I was like, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, okay. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? Let me hit my RPG on. Let me hop in the character real quick. <laughs> Jules grab a glow set. They got tails on. I'm like, hey, you know. I'm into that. Oh, Jules. Yo, y'all hear this, ladies? Jules out here liking the girls with the tails. Hey, hey. there's nothing wrong with that. Some of them. Hey, this is actually pretty good. I know you had something that you want to talk about, too, Mickey. My what? Oh, good old '90s cartoons, early 2000s cartoons. Let's go. All right. Well, here's the first thing I want to know: what everyone, like the whole group, and even stream or people on YouTube, want to drop a comment. What was your favorite cartoon as a kid? Who's it's going first? Mine was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay. Yo, the, the 90s X-Men show is pretty dope. Ooh, that was probably my top show as well. Damn. Between Dragon Ball Z and Gundam. I got good Dragon Ball Z and probably Courage of Cali Dog. I fuck with Bro, X-Men. Bro, that X-Men though, you can't tell me that shit wasn't fire. Yo, the theme no. song. Bro, you know they got, you know they got sued on a the theme song? For what? Bro, let me tell you, let me tell you the crazy shit, because I'm glad you said that. So I was listening to that song, right? And yeah. I was like, what the fuck does this shit is on that da na 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 right? Uh, yeah. Watch this. <laughs> Who else's song sounds like that? It's Whitney Houston, I'm your baby tonight. They sampled it off of it and they got they got sued. Oh, oh my god. No. Bro, listen to Whitney Houston, I'm your baby tonight. No. Listen to it, bro. That's interesting as fuck. Bro, I'm telling you. I was high as fuck one day. Just this I was like, uh, I know uh, this X-Men song. Yeah, yeah. I know the song. Mm-hmm. Bro, I know that theme song. Bro, it, everyone knows that this is Whitney Houston song. Fucking. <laughs> and they just they just stole that shit and was like, yo, I'm going to just play it. They basically just sampled it. I think they pitched it down a little bit. But yeah. They got Damn, sued. They, they got sued down. for that shit. Whitney Houston, man. That's a little fun fact. But I, I was, you know, I mean, I was crazy that you said the X-Men because, bro. I was like, for the longest time when I was hearing that shit, I was like, bro. Where I know this from. <laughs> I know this shit, bro. Like, I'm like, this is not an original song. And my mom, you know, my mom and them, they, they used to listen to like, you know, Whitney Houston and all that shit. So the melody is like in my head. I don't listen to Whitney Houston, but I know that the rift. And if you've ever seen that movie, uh, what's the movie heard it? That's what I was talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, with the, I was gonna say with the security nigga, but yeah, the bodyguard movie. If you ever seen that shit, you'll know that riff. Definitely not. I definitely seen that movie too. Like hundred yeah. percent. So anyone listening, if you do, go listen to the X-Men theme and then listen to Whitney Houston, I'm your baby tonight, and tell me that's not the same song. I'm about to play it right now. Oh no. Please, I, I, I was trying to listen to it, but all my shit's in my headphones, so I can't play nothing now. I don't have no audio. Play it through my TV, and hopefully you guys can hear it in the background. I wonder what happens when Disney is set to revive it. Is they going to keep it the same, or do they change it? Definitely uh, old. It's going to be so what? similar. You know? I think it's going to be different, because it's called, what is it, um, X-Men 2000 or something like that? Y'all ready? Previously, oh, I hit, the, I hit the more. I hit a little bit. Get ready, here it is. Na, 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 na. <laughs> I heard your wrist of it. I ain't no. <laughs> That's definitely from a song for sure, too. 
What are you listening to? It's like bare for right. five seconds. Because I'm a saxophone. saxophone. <laughs> no, no, man. And what's the name of the bit, uh, Whitney song? I'm My your baby, baby tonight. tonight. I don't know. X Men tonight. Oh my god. No. <laughs> Alright, so since we're on it, who's everybody's favorite X-Men? Oh bro. <laughs> bro. Who's yours, Mata? Yeah. Wolverine. Yeah, mine's Wolverine and Sam. No. Poor Deadpool. <sighs> and Jules, who's your favorite X-Men? I don't know, probably. He about to say something stupid. Watch, he gonna be like, beast. Nah, you know I don't like beast. You know I don't like beast. I'm gonna say eight man. Probably you know. Even though he's not really an X Men, he's kind of in that whole mutant category thing. So I'm gonna throw him in there. I guess at one point in time he was an X Men on some occasions. Oh my god, it definitely is the X Men song. <laughs> it is. Um, no, it is. It literally, it is. That's insane. I'm waiting for a sentinel to pop out in our video. Oh, it's a fucking sentinel. Well, that whole beginning rift is literally. But you bro, know what? I do, I do fuck with Bishop too. Bro, listen. <laughs> Whoever was the fucking music manager for that X Men show woke up in the middle of the night and BET was on, and then I like, heard that beginning riff of her song and was like, "Fuck it, I'm turning that in tomorrow." And they made the X Men team song <laughs> off that. Like, <laughs> so, first, this is how they got. This is how they got all the niggas on it. Black people was like, "Oh, I fucking with this. What is this from?" Yeah, no one even knew. Yeah, <laughs> they stuck it in there. Yeah. But my favorite X Men are probably Cable or Gambit. Gambit, I fuck with Gambit. Gambit, and I like Colossus too. He's my nigga. It just depends on what version of Colossus, but I do fuck with him sometimes. Depends on who writes them too. Yeah. yeah. Cause there's some goofy ass colossuses and I get annoyed. Or like man's taking face himself to say fucking kitty pride. I'm like, bitch, you can that bitch, yo. Invisible bitch, right? Who can run through walls? Yeah. Yeah. I hate kitty pride, I don't like that. I never did. Hell no. Like she a whole bitch like Bada would be like in love with Kitty Pride. Nah, bro, I would not be. I'm like, bitch, you're walking through walls. You gonna walk in my life, too. Remember the other bitch Cyclops was fucking with? Jean Grey. Emma Frost? No, no, the other bitch. Uh, Oh, she was frozen, whatever. Emma Frost, yeah. Yeah, Emma Frost. That's you, Diamond. Yeah, Yeah, she she turned into Diamond or something, yeah. pretty bad, too. Go Cyclops, you know? Yo, Cyclops actually fucked Emma Frost on Jean Grey's grave. Shit. Wolverine get the bitches cause he the bad boy. You know? Uh, don't, don't get bottom started on the bad guy, good guy. Don't oh, get him started. Not. Do not get me started. Ultra ego over here. I don't hit that for him. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna say mega. Ultra fucking ego. Um, All right. How, how you get the alter ego bottom? Please, please. You, you, you just, you know, you gotta get there. I can't explain how I did it, but I'm at Lots that stage. This thing about a crazy. Hey, you know what? It sometimes it works being crazy. I guess. I mean, it could be working right now as we speak. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm gonna have to go with the no on that matter. Uh, like the f- no. Okay, I won't. Okay, I guess being crazy don't work then. I mean, apparently Jules knows a little bit more than I do. I actually know absolutely nothing. I'm trying to figure out what you're talking about. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Just that, you know, I'm crazy, bro. All right, so yo, one other question though. What's everybody's favorite Spider Man villain? Venom. Villain? Venom. Because yo, ain't, ain't the nigga, didn't he just get a movie? One of his villains, that hunter guy? Craven? Coming yeah. out. It's not out yet. 
Right, so that's what made me brought that up, right? Like, so who's everybody's favorite villain? Because I think there's lots more who should get a movie before that nigga. I like my favorite's Venom. Uh, mine's Carnage for sure. Oh yeah, Carnage Venom. Is Venom is one of my favorites. Venom is two for me. Actually, you know what? Toxin is two for me. Toxin is like Carnage and Venom's little. This is, baby. Yeah. And then it's Venom. <laughs> so all three Spider-Man villains are are symbiotes for me. Yeah, but see, the one thing that Carnage has a lot bigger feet than a lot of other people do. Took over, he took over fucking Silver Surfer and made that man commit suicide by flying into the fucking sun. I think that's just one version in one yeah. thing. Yeah. That's no, not like the overall. No, I can know, so I mean. Whoa. So what's the next MCU movie dropping? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mickey, who did you say yours was? Oh, mine's Venom. Okay. Which is crazy, because the new Spider-Man game, Venom's in the game. Right. Yeah. I'm pissed that it's not co-op, though. Because it's you and Miles Morales flying through the city, and they're like- Why did they do this? They're like, if you're you're Spider-Man, and you're you're swinging through the city, you might see Miles stopping the- I'm like, well, why can't they just make that co-op so me and my homie can swing through? Right, bro. Well, bro why do they you make know all how these lit movies? that would be? It's so annoying. That would be so lit if we could just swing through the city and fight villains of Spider Man and Miles Morales. Yo, they would get fucking jumped. Like everybody dying at that point, bro. That's and then e- even Venom three player. Fuck it. You yeah. know what I mean? I know they. I heard that it's not Eddie Brock. That's Venom in this one. So oh, it's not game something? Nah, it's not Eddie Brock and Venom in this one. I don't know who they said that. Her, because Craven's in the game as well. I heard that some say it, it's on Craven. Some said that it's on one of the Osborns. But I'm like, it can't be on one of the Osborns because if you look at that Ven- uh, Venom, that nigga's buff. Like, yeah. Venom was only really buff because of fucking Eddie Brock, though. Yeah, but if you also think about it, when Venom took over the body of the Scorpion, he became buff as shit. Scorpion was never that buff. Scorpion is buffer than fucking Osborne. Yeah, Yeah. Osborne's a plague. Osborne, before, after the crazy serum and all that shit, I mean... After the crazy serum, Green Goblin was never buff. He was in shape, he wasn't skinny, but he wasn't, like, buff, like... Eddie Brock, he was in shape, of course, but he was. Oh no, I'm not talking about like Eddie Brock, but when the Venom symbiote took over, uh, Car- not Carnage, fucking Scorpion. Scorpion, that man got beyond built, got like fucking no neck kind of jacked. Venom, uh, uh, what's the name? Is always Scorpion's always been kind of big though. Yeah, he's all, Scorpion's always been big. He's not small. Unless no. I'm tripping. No, you're not tripping. I'm, I'm looking over it right now. I'm like, I know this nigga, uh, Gurpin ain't no, ain't no bitch. The one dude I think we're talking about is fucking, what's his name? Shocker or something. He's kind of small. Oh, the right? yellow Shocker? Yeah. Yo, how come there was two of them too? The, the Jamie Foxx one and then the yellow one. Oh no, one was Electro, my fault. Yeah. But there was Jamie Foxx was Electro. Yeah, he was Electro. He had like he was actually made out of it. Shocker just had the gloves. Yeah. Yo. Shocker was dope. He's always one of my favorites. Uh, there were, I, he, I used to play as him on his old school video game. I don't know what the fuck. But uh, do you remember back in the day I had this one program on PC where he could like make a Spider-Man movie or some comic shit? Uh, not it off was, the top of my head. What's dumb as shit, bro? I can't. I, I don't even want to remember. But yeah, that's why I think of. I used to play a shocker on it all the time. That's the only reason I like him. Other than that, I don't. I just Man, like, he you get knocked shit down with the top. Just love shocker. You say what? They, I was, that's Jules's favorite person. Don't let him lie to y'all. I can't. I mean. I don't know. What else we got on the docket, guys? 
Don't we have the uh, beef going on with somebody? The robbery? Oh, 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 oh. Cause it's not a beef, so check this out. So if you guys, I know you guys don't really like listening to hip hop, it's like, like that, that, or like being hip hop news. But so there's an old school rapper from New York. His name is Pat Poos. He used to be super nice. He's straight, he's from New York. Uh, I'm not okay. sure. I'm not, I'm not sure if he's, is he from Queens or? Yeah, but uh, bro, he got famous. He got famous doing that alphabet rap A to Z. The alphabet rap A to Z. A slag. And then Man. he did it backwards. He did it backwards too. Paps is listen. Pap is nice, nice. Like, bro, he's his skill level. He's one of those. He he has a nice pen. He's just not recognized for it. But so basically, him and his girl. Uh, he dated this one chick uh, from New York as well named Remy Ma. Uh, if you don't realize who Remy Ma is, uh, at the time she was beef with Nicki Minaj and she dropped the Ether track against Nicki Minaj. No one remembers that? Okay. Uh, cool. I do. No, no, no. She dissed her, but um, did Nicki Minaj respond? Uh, that's what I was trying to think when he said it. I think she got to take it. She got to take it down. She got to take she, it down. She did put bars or something in a song, right? She, she responded, but she got his. She got the ether track that what Remy Ma did taken what? down because it yeah, wasn't yeah. licensed. Right. But I still give it to Remy Ma. But anyways, Remy Ma went to jail for like seven years for like either killing a bitch yeah, or like us. stabbing a bitch or she some shit. Bitch in the or something. Yeah. She shot so, a bitch in the leg. The whole time, Papoose was holding her down while she was in prison, like state penitentiary. Oh, like, like heavy. Ha- holding her down, yo, when she get out, I'm gonna make sure we're gonna get married, do all this crazy he, shit, right? He, she, she got out. Like the industry. He kept her name mad relevant. He was going on oh. shows talking about her every radio interview. Like, so, he kept her name relevant. She gets out, and they've been doing good, uh, a lot of, you know, a whole bunch of couple shit. And so basically, Remy Ma, basically ended up getting a, her own battle rap lead. So under Smack, uh, I don't know if you know what Smack DVD is or anything like that, but Smack has a, a battle battle rap league. And uh, so Remy Ma basically has her own battle rap league now. And one of the battle rappers from Smack, uh, his name, and I can't even, fuck, I just forgot this nigga's name too. God, I don't know, uh, Easy to Block Captain. He's from North Block Philly. Yeah. Uh, easy to Block Captain. Fucking... Dope ass battle rapper. I don't know what happened, but they're saying that she cheated on Papoose with this no, guy. She did. So basically, it's like her man's nah, now. No, nah, no. Nah, uh, well, there's a lot of other news coming out because I just watched the most recent battle as well. But so basically, what happened was they said that she cheated, uh, and they said that Pop found out and he knocked him out. Uh, but the whole thing is like how he's been a good guy holding her down, and she still went out of her way now. There was just a battle rap that happened like a week ago uh, with Easy to Block Captain. She was on, uh, she actually hired him on a card to battle somebody, uh, Geechee Gotti, and they had a battle. And this whole battle, Geechee Gotti is basically just saying, how come you gonna fuck up Pat like that? And then they're like, oh, well, you had to have this battle in Philly because you know if we would have did it in New York, he wouldn't be here. Yeah, Pat would have been um, on that ass. <laughs> but he made it easy, made it even more. Cause he's like, you know what? Two things. He says in the battle, he's like, first, if someone either said I took their girl, they either dead or I left with their girl. <laughs> and she's still there at the battle. You know what I mean? Probably, like, he's so probably smart. The way he Pat didn't ain't say, Pat Poos ain't say shit. So it's just kind of in the air. <laughs> but. It's just the whole fact that damn, bro. He, ha- I don't know if it's a, it's not been one hundred percent proven, but it's just like damn, bro. You, you you really held this girl down for that long for her to get her name back to get her own battle league. Oh, when she got out of jail, she got on that song with Fat Joe and shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Only because. So yeah, man. It's just that's a lot. Uh, but I fucked up, Papoose, bro. I fuck with Papoose. I don't care. I fuck with he Pap Heavy. Like, uh, he dropped these songs called Law Library. And they're basically just for, like, niggas who locked up. And they basically gives you, like, information on, you know what I mean? Just, he has, like, a series of called Law Library. And they're just fucking, it's some dope shit. Bro, he's dope. He's dope. But he'll nigga at the end of the day, too. Hey, 
anybody it's it's a free world you know what i mean like anybody can get god they got they hit the president they, you can get hit <laughs> you know what i'm saying true. like it shit no one can be untouched in this world everybody can be reached so who you, it doesn't matter how much money you got yes it does not matter Niggas can't yeah, be but having, having money will fucking make it better, though. Yeah, <laughs> it less, less, yeah it's less capable, but it still happens. <laughs> Where we at, Bada? Well, I think. Uh, we, you said what? I think we're, we just hit the hour mark, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I really ain't even paying attention. I'm just vibing it. Yeah, keep it going. We good. I don't care. Well, Once we have the only the other thing I wanted to talk about was the rock breaking the internet, going back to WWE Wait, getting hundred. Oh yeah, that, 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 was, that was that was good. Bro, a hundred and three million views in twenty four hours. Think about that. That's fucking wild. One Bro, that's person. A, Bro, that's insane. And he had the audience, bro, shouting like at the palm of his hand. Yo, it's fire, bro. I fuck with wrestling. I don't know. He said, he's gonna call you an asshole, and then the other side's gonna call you an asshole afterwards. I'm like, God damn. And then he said, it's not fair now that we get the switch side, so both sides get to call you that. Yeah. Crowd control is crazy. But I do gotta give it the theory though. He was all like, "Bitch, I don't give a fuck what you're here for." You yeah, know, it doesn't matter. Like, you but you uh, know, bro, John Cena, and now he gets to fight The Rock. You know, Austin Theory, the chosen one. You know what? I still hate that man, and I will hate him to the day I die. Hey, they're passing the torch, man. <laughs> oh, I hate bro. him. I hate him so badly. But we and now it's about John Cena and fucking The Rock against uh, Solo and uh, Jimmy. I'm hearing the animal might make a return. He is. Yeah, well, no, Batista, 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 Batista. Bro, I found out why they're all back. Why John Cena, The Rock, and Batista? Because the writers are on a strike in Hollywood. So I'm, these I'm, niggas. I was say that same thing. I was just about to say the same thing. It's a writer strike right now. And they're oh. they're bored. Got free time, nigga. Let's go home. You feel me? Get an extra couple million dollars real quick. Just going and wrestling. And the fans want him back. I was like, why not? Yeah, they oh, definitely do. I didn't like uh, how we yeah. went out last time beating up Ric Flair yeah, and then like that. Oh, but Yeah, yeah he I didn't like going on Yeah, I didn't like how we went out last time. That's what I'm saying. I didn't like that. I'm hearing that uh, Batista versus. Don't Brock say it. Oh, okay. Out, don't, yeah, they never had a match either. I know, that's I'm saying. I'm hearing that. Hopefully, I don't think it's going to be. I don't think it's going to happen. But I would like to see it. That's your dream match for sure. That definitely is. Yo, that can't be a no. The dream match now, no, not Batista and Lesnar. (laughs) What's going on? I had it. Oh, no, like, that can't. That's no dream match. Now that had to have been played out in their primes, so. though. Yeah. There still would be like, but I know Randy Orton's pulling back up. He's been at the training center. Yeah, but he's pulling up without his tag team partner and Matt Riddle. Here's bros going after Roman. The Legend Killer returns. Hey, yes. nigga. Hey. He's the only one to dethrone this nigga. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Man, what? He gonna bring back kicking people in the fucking head? Bro, yeah. yes, he is. He's gonna bring it all back. Yes. Yes, he That's is. That's what he's gonna have to do. And I'm not talking about he kicks him in the head once. I'm talking to like 15 times. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, that was what Matt Riddle did to Randy Orton. Made him with the muscle. That was so gay, Randy Orton version. Dude, that that was like that was that was horrible. You said the mustache? Oh my what god! Was, look, look up Randy Orton with the mustache. I seen him in an interview with the mustache. That's the mustache. Oh. That, it's the mustache Bobby had on his guy when we played ball. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> He's bought his devil. 
I'm gonna RKO the shit out of somebody. And by the oh, guy, embarrassed about it, said, I'm, I'm changing my mustache. He didn't like the porno stash. Uh, <laughs> not. Oh, man. It was hey, fun. Hey, just, just curious. But you know what? what? Oops. Me and Jules got to get on some 2K later on, though. God, I'm ready to get on 2K now after the podcast. Yo, I was going to say, we doing the fucking podcast. Shit. Can't do it right now, but yeah, we got to get on. We got to win some games. God. What? I need, you, I need you to answer me a question. God damn it. What? And be honest, man. What? Yes, he loves her. Shut well, up! I don't love nobody. Tyler, have you done your what? sit-ups? Soon? I haven't had to do any fucking sit-ups. I've been taking hits of weed. Oh. Tell, tell oh, live what happened. Please tell live what happened. Oh my god! Yeah, so. tell, tell live what happened. All right, live. So here's how this went. What happened? Tell me. I'm listening. Right? Hey, hi. Uh, and this dude, Jules is like, come on, Bono, let's get these sit-ups in. Jules over here saying, I love her. So John starts doing these sit-ups hanging off the back of my couch, right? <laughs> and I, and he, got, he, he got, to, I think he got to four, and I'm like, come on, man, go to 10. So he keeps going, and he gets to seven. And this man is trying to sit up. Dude, his eyes got so big, and all of a sudden you just hear my foot. <laughs> Dude, this had me and Jules oh. dying. <laughs> Bob is a character. No, let me let me tell you let me tell you let me tell you some shit that that was really funny, though. But this is the shit that I cannot let happen. So I don't know. If, I don't know if we were streaming or what, and. These guys decided they're gonna get five guys, right? Okay, like the burger place. Yeah, right. And I don't know if they got like a hot dog or what else. I didn't even know five guys sold hot dogs for instance. Yeah, I didn't either. either. All right, here's, we got we got two we had two double bacon cheeseburgers with bacon and cheese hot dogs and of the Cajun fries because you can't go to five guys without getting the Cajun fries. <laughs> So, right. the food gets here, and I only eat my hot dog at the time. John, on the other hand, eats the entire thing in like four minutes. <laughs> so, we're going to get back and, the and, and uh, a couple minutes go by, all of a sudden, Bob is in mid mid sentence, and all of them just my stomach hurts. Ah, uh, it's uh, and like I'm just like, what? You have to take the other dude, and he's like, he's like, dude, shut up, we're on stream. <laughs> and uh, dude, that was bad, bro. Nasty ass food. <laughs> No, don't blame the food. <laughs> don't blame the food. Dude, floor, it's Lord Jules. I hear that. Oh my God. Bro, I was literally crying. Like he was just, he was just talking. I was hearing him eat. And he just stopped everything. Like stop chewing. Stop everything. He's like, I stomach hurting. I just hear like scuffling around. <laughs> he's out of there. I'm like, yeah, we're good. We're by that. He's, he's in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my man was in there sweating. <laughs> he was like he sitting there like you could just you saw it like you saw all the color leave his face and all of a sudden he just starts pouring sweat. He's like my stomach hurt. That hurt, Bruh, That shit was fucking. I was weak, bro. That shit was lit. Uh, there was a lot of weak moments going on lately. Tell us about him. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, what was the last one that happened? Um, I don't know. Oh, man. 
We've just been over here chilling, you know, playing MK1. The new Mortal Kombat? Yes. How is it? It's okay. Uh, it's it's like a reboot, but they're always reboot. No, this one is like a complete reboot. So none of the characters know each other or nothing. It's like a whole reintroduction, whatever. Right, so, so Liu Kang is now pretty much God. he. So if you if you played eleven, then you know the story about what happened with Liu Kang and Raiden fu fusing. Yeah, and becoming that fire god, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now in MK1, there is a raid that exists, and I'm not. I haven't beaten the storyline, but it turns out Raiden is gonna be Liu Kang's champion over Kung Lao. Oh wow, that's interesting as fuck. Well, but I could listen. I could be wrong. But I haven't gotten that much into the game. Um, but yeah, and then, you know, like I said, I've got maybe 26,000 more to go VC wise to get to a 99 on 2K. Hopefully we got an audience watching because if we got one tonight, I'm gonna go off again. It's dope. Oh, it was definitely dope. Um, you know, so, yeah, you know, when we win games, we dedicate them to those who watch us. Oh, that's dope. Oh, come on, who do that? <laughs> I do that? Yeah, I would say we, hold up, let's read, let it go back. When yeah, we all dedicated to our viewers out there, you know, we win these games for y'all. You know. I win these games for me, but bottle win these games for y'all. Hold on, I don't know who y'all are. I'm talking about the fans. I ain't speaking to nobody in particular. Just no, you know. Y'all okay. always is. Hold on. Y'all always is. Bada speaking to the bitches. Bada speaking to the bitches. Yo. Yo, yo, relax, relax. You know we can't let them all. We can't let them all know the mystery that is me. <laughs> hey, well, like, live, so I am on the street in itself, okay? You're uh, something, all right? <laughs> yes, I am the mystery that is Bada Boom. Who is Bada Boom? Nobody will ever fucking know. Let's get into it. No, we are not getting into it because I'm not talking about who I am on stream. Therapy session 101. I mean, I mean you gotta do the last podcast. Yeah, we're not talking about we're not talking about me. Don't the ladies love bada boom? Nope. <laughs> Who love ladies, bada boom? No. Ladies do not love bada boom. You're getting all the ladies. <laughs> you're not getting no ladies? I don't know, you tell me. Bada get all those. I don't, I don't live with you, bada. I don't know. I live across the United you know, States. Like, I mean, listen, as it went this segment, I don't listen, those. I mean, you <laughs> live, you live somewhere. Based off of this summer, hell, this weekend, I'm not getting no females. I swear, a lot of people saying, I, see, I swear he be saying different things every time. First, he just said that he was having a good week, nothing go wrong. And now you're saying you're not getting no females? Hold up, but how can? But for me, that's not necessarily. I can have a good week, but not having to worry about any females. Okay. So what made you week good then? What made me do what? What made your week good then? If it had nothing to do with females. I mean, us just getting all this shit done. We got the views up on YouTube. You know, my job interview went well. That's dope. See. So I mean, I said, I I ain't, I ain't knocking. I'm saying, you know, I'm over here hanging out at Brandon's house. You know, we're just chilling. I got high this entire fucking weekend. I am out of my eighth already. Who's Brandon? I'm canceled that out. Who's Brandon? I, I've smoked all of my eighth, which means I'm gonna probably pick some more up. Bada, who's Brandon? Brandon's the homie that I hang out with on the weekend. 
Oh, what are y'all be doing? Yo, we play video games, bro. We play. He got the PS5, the Xbox 360, the P. I got my PS4. We can see how you know him. This guy. What? How do you know him? Like, who is he? You know him like you know Mickey and shit, or no? Or like us? What? Yo, if, if you're going where I think you're going, relax. Um. Hey, like, I'm just asking about the guy. I never heard his name before. My <laughs> Hold up. So, live. Live. He's friends with Izzy, which I met through her. Who's it? Oh, one of the girls you talked to. Okay. So you met him through her. Okay, cool. You didn't have to go into that far on the podcast. We don't need to put faces and names to certain things. My fault, you're, but I just, I you're heard <laughs> no, you're good, live, you're good. Yeah, so I hang out over here. Izzy comes over sometimes, and sometimes we all hang out. Sometimes I don't see her on the weekends. So, and it's been one of those weekends this weekend. I haven't seen her. I've just been hanging out. Doing what? Playing Mortal Kombat. Be happy with that just chill it hey that's it all. look that's all i look i like chilling i like smoking i like video games you know sure i like the females when they come around but when they don't fuck it i get to be in my own little space your own little space at brandon's house your homie playing video games yeah all right so his own little space like he's in his own room but, you know, I mean, how the weekend ain't over yet, but. So you, you sound like you're expecting something. Hey, if, 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 you know, if I see her, I see her. If I don't, I don't. I was not talking about her about it, but I guess see where you're headed. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't say oh, nothing about a female. He, he went straight to it. He did. He no hesitation. It, Sound like you're excited to see right there. You know what's on your mind. Yeah. Bada go out. go. Where's a love song? We're gonna need a love song for Bada. Relax. I Bada Boom would never write him would never write a love song. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Who did I say write a love song? I could have sworn you said something about a fucking love song. Did I say write a love song? Hey, hey yo, I love a love song. I said we need a love song for Bada Boom. I ain't never said write him one. We just need a theme oh, song. Oh, I was about to fucking say. I was about to be like, bro, me writing a love song? What the fuck is that bullshit? Write it for all the hoes. Be on your Drake shit. Oh, you know how? <laughs> okay, let, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Everybody on Twitch watching our shit right now. How many of y'all would actually like for a dude to write them an actual love song? You're not writing it for a dude, you write it for the girls. Okay, that's what I said. How many of them would like? Yeah, but most of the people in our chat are going to be dudes. Yeah. How, how do you know that? I mean, we got women that probably watch this shit. About a 90% ratio. And so in the off chance that they're like, oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. Hey, that's cool, but your boy ain't doing it. I feel like you're it saying is. that. See, but you're thinking so the opposite. Like but, you're saying, what? like you're saying, it's like you're saying, I'm not going. I feel like you're saying, I'm not going to write a love song. Looking at lyrics to a love song that you probably already started writing. I actually am not. I mean, let's be honest. I can't look. If I haven't dropped any lyrics for any other track that I'm working on, why would I skip everything else just to write a love song? Who knows? That could be. It's gonna sound dumb as fuck. Not a What's don't, it gonna be? Don't, well, don't, what put, kind? don't put the target on your back. That's too easy. Bro, I'm not putting any type of a target. I mean, what kind of a love song? Let's, okay, let's say I did a love song. What kind of shit would it be? Yeah, but the fact that you said that before you would drop a track, like you would stop and just do that love song. Yeah, yes, I'm the saying fuck you would. Like yes, no, you would. No, no. Uh, hold up, let's have a team vote. 
Uh, see, that's the thing. Y'all thinking that I drop a fucking love shit. I wouldn't drop no type of a love track for nobody before I dropped anything else. Button, no shirt, singing, waving oh, his no. arm. Hold up, let, let's take a group vote. <laughs> it's good <laughs> man. I already know oh, I got people <laughs> And it's not, this is not, hold up, this is not based off of assumption. This is based off previous actions. Yeah, but have I, I've never written a love song to begin with. It's not, it don't no, it's, it's not about, it's again. not about the love yeah. song. It's about just your actions in general. Bro, you would, Bada, if you had one leg and she told you to walk over there, you would crawl. <laughs> Yeah, that's a fact, bro. No. That's yeah. And you probably try to sell the other one just to get an Uber. <laughs> you know like, what, what, what is LA night when we need him? Tell me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But let okay, me get him. Don't put the target on your back, you. Bada. No, but you're just a lover, is what we're implying. You're a, you're a ladies' man. You know what I mean? Ladies' men make love songs. You know what I'm saying? That's it. It's okay. Yeah. Huh. You're a ladies' man, bro. You sing to the ladies, nigga. I'm clearly not a ladies' man at all. The whole time I've known you, you've been uh, getting all the hoes, so. No, no. Look, that, I'm going to shut that shit down right now. No. What you not lately. The last couple of episodes, we're talking about bodies, female issues, so. I'm pretty sure I'm going to take them and stay alive on that one, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. Hey, listen. I've occasionally, not that I release them, bro. I will go out and make any type of a song for a chick. Cause you know what? I it don't take me no effort. Bro, we make can't leave you alone, and you sang on the hook. Right. I don't have no problem. That's a fact. Jewel sang on a love song for me. I bet you he has. I sure fuck this. Sure the fuck in the bathroom in the abandoned park in the apartment we was leaving, remember? That first track though. Nigga, that shit was in the bathroom, remember? Yeah. Whoa, that was the one that was in the bathroom you was telling me about. Sing it. We yeah, yeah. I don't even sing no, he said it in the song too. I don't even sing no and he laughed. And then he still just did it. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> he did us just like a nigga, I don't even sing no. Fuck it. And then he did it. <laughs> oh, I mean, so Mickey song we ever made, I think. Jules, wasn't that the first song we ever did? I think one of them. Uh, I don't think that was the first one, but it was definitely in the top like two or three. Uh, yeah. we had, I'm pretty sure we had did another one that I don't know. We yeah, did a couple of them. I think we did put in work the get high song, the, the uh, get fucked up song, and can't leave you alone all like within the same time span, bro. Yeah, like right uh, around each other. So making you give him body some singing lessons or what? Hell no, not even he can help me with that shit. I can't sing for shit. Bro, it's easy. Anybody can learn it. That's I'm not true. trying to learn. It's a little hard. Why? Nice. Why would it it is hard. It's you hard. Like to singing to? It's hard for me. I ain't gonna lie to you. I can't sing for shit. Yeah, I can't do that. I'm sure. I, I just mean, you know, I can't, so. can't get harmonics right. I can't do none of that. I can teach you. Yeah, like, see that. Oh, I to get the wait, guitar out. Well, I don't sing for shit. I can teach you. I'm not there doing this shit, Mickey. We're not doing it. What's my song, right. Bobby? Mickey, sing something real quick. I'm not oh, singing. Hold up. What's my song, Bobby? What's the name of that song? I don't know what song you're talking about. I really fucked it up this time. <laughs> you fucked up this time. Jules, don't do that again, nigga. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he said, you bitch. Kid yelling at his mom. Fuck you, bitch. I'm doing my home. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? We had, uh, like, we had Joel singing uh, the bleeps ending the other night. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, hey, we my, did. Hey, okay, Macho Man, Bada. Wait, do what? What's the oh yeah that you just did in the Macho Man oh, voice? Yeah. Oh yeah, snap into a Slim Jim. 
What the fuck was that? Live? As a whack ass <laughs> macho man like this? Oh, <laughs> and with the I'm wild, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh shit. Oh man, this podcast, damn. He, do, he doing it for the boobies. Hell yeah, yeah do it for the boobies. Fuck that shit, you know. Hell yeah, do it all for the shit. <laughs> he does a good uh, Christopher Walken, too. Boy. Yeah, yeah. So apparently, Bot is in the voice acting, so. Dang. <laughs> They make me bust out the Vegeta. Please don't. <laughs> the Please Vegeta. Don't. Please do it. Don't. Please no. do it. Do it. No. I'm about to bust it out the Vegeta. Let's hear it. Look, look I'm not doing this shit on podcast. I you would rather. Said- look, I would rather confess my feelings to somebody on a podcast than do a Vegeta fucking voice. Oh, that's your feelings to somebody. Why does Bada? I feel like Bada just sets himself up every time for this shit. Like he could have said anything else in this world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter what the bet is or anything. He always just like his side of it is like something that could lead to women. Like (laughs) on him. Bro, I'll do anything in this world, but confess to this girl that I really want to get with her. <laughs> Yo, hold up. Wait, no. Are you going to say anything? Anything in this entire world? That's what you land on. <laughs> Yo. I'll confess my feelings to her right now. Just say it, no, Just say you love her, it. At this point, just say that you love the chick, Bada, at this point. I don't love anybody. Somebody out there is loved by this man. Just know that. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, they're not. <laughs> Listen to him. <laughs> that boy Bada, man. That's cool. Yo, okay, then who the hell am I in love with live? Who is this random ass female? I'm about to say, don't, don't, don't ask me, Bada. <laughs> You're slowly leading, <laughs> leading, leading us all to her. He's dropping breadcrumb after breadcrumb. You're eventually just gonna drop it. Oh, he's hey. dropping loaves already by now. I'm gonna crash the Wonder Bread truck and shit, bro. He is out, bro. <laughs> bro. Thanks. Hey, listen, hold up. No, it is not the Wonder Bread truck. <laughs> because look, you know, I mean, there is nothing, nothing going on anywhere. What? 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 There you guys have it. Bodies of love. And Wait, with who? Or listen, who we're all. Who do y'all think that I'm in love with? Okay. Well, bodies, of, bodies of love with Izzy and. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Uh, <laughs> you, know what? you know what? You know what, you guys? For shits and giggles, I will. You know what? Yes. Oh my God, you guys, you guys caught me. I'm in love with her. Just by <laughs> fucking Christ, can't get that girl out of my head. Like, I'll damn. Yeah, I feel I'll like you're trying to say this sarcastically, but you mean it's, it. uh, it's true. Like, he's like, yes, I can finally <laughs> just say this shit real quick. Just get it off my chest. Shits and giggles. I love her. Just keep setting yourself up, Bada. She ain't, look, she ain't gonna watch this shit. Why the fuck would she watch this shit? I'll be sure to send it to her. That's a fact, bro. Oh, you you know that Facebook name. Yeah, I'm tagging her. You, you, you about to post it right to her. F- f- fuck. What? Yo, yo, definitely don't post it right to her page at da, 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 hey, Facebook. You know what say? Like, yo, she's on at 12 o'clock. Be sure that you don't say anything to her about that. <laughs> Yo, yeah. why the fuck y'all put me on blast like this? Is this the roast of Bada Boom? Do we really have to get all the different women in here to roast me? Bada, you <laughs> set yourself up. You literally said that. Like, literally, we had done talking about her, and you said, you literally brung it back to her. All right, well, you know what? I, I think it's time for me to go mute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, time for you to go milk? 
Mute. It's alright, John. Uh, y'all just gonna put it out there like that. What are you saying, uh, yo? And you brung it up. Why are you saying y'all? You brung this up. We told you multiple times on the podcast. Do not put your put a target on your back. In each conversation. You bring it right back. There is no y'all. It's a hundred percent by the boom that says these things. We just supporting. That's a fact. Well, I got your back regardless. What you mean? I'm going to get a few laughs out of it for sure. Because that's what I do. But, you know, if you, unless, I don't care if you're in love with it or not. <laughs> yeah, everybody need to know this shit though. Like, I mean, who else knows this shit? There's probably gonna be over a hundred people. Of, you just need to get out of denial. But the, the thing is, you're so in what, I just, So I just need to tell her the shit in person, huh? Ain't no yeah. one said anything like I didn't say any of that. <laughs> Yo, you know, it's so being in denial with yourself. Do you see? Listen, do you see how we say you set yourself up just out of nowhere? He was like, "So what? I just go tell her to her face now?" Like, you know what I mean? Like, yes, bro. I guess do that now. Yeah. Not you know what? Okay, okay. Listen, look. I will listen if it comes to it. I'll tell her that shit tonight. <laughs> Maybe I okay, it. we got it. If that's if that's what you want to do, because it sounds like you already have been thinking about this premeditatively. Oh, you know what? No, goodbye. <laughs> Ooh. Yo, I swear, yeah, if it's not anything, y'all are going to fucking have a good time on this podcast. If anything, I know we're kind of still over an hour, but you know. It's fun. It definitely, we have a good time for sure. It's a Sunday. I hope everyone's relaxed. You know what I'm saying? Again, Again. when you hear it, it'll be Monday. Get high. Oh, you know, one 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 two, two. Um, I'm definitely about to get high after this podcast. Yeah, oh, I'm fun. already high. Hey, I've been up there since noon. I found one night. I'm going to be on tomorrow, too. What? I said, I'm going to be high as shit tomorrow, too. Yeah. I'll probably be right there with you. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's not even a thing for me to say that I'm high. Like, that's, like, so normal to me. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like, normal. for me to tell someone, like, yo, I'm really getting high, is like, that's, like, expected. Like, I wake up and smoke. That's the first thing that hit my mind. As soon as my eyes open up, I'm like, I need to smoke. Unless it's something like of an emergency. Yeah. First thing that I think about when I wake up is smoking weed. No cap. Like, literally. Unless it's like, my alarm goes off and I'm late or some shit like that. But other than that, as soon as my eyes open, I'm like, where the fuck is my bowl at? Do I have any blunts? (laughs) You're always talking about, she's like, "Uh, how come I always wake up and you're already just smoking? I'm like, because it sets the tone for the day, bro. If you get high in the morning, nine times out of ten, you're in a good mood, you have a good day. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Shit doesn't bother you, nothing. Yeah. What y'all do? Y'all I'm about to go to sleep. I I gotta do this little science thing with my son quick for he has to turn in tomorrow. But uh, my girl took him to get pizza while we did the podcast. So okay. when he gets back, I gotta do the little stupid thing with him. Like it's about the planets. We gotta like styrofoam balls and wooden sticks and. Nah, that's make, about like, to be lit, bro. That's about to be dope. Yeah, it'll be alright. But we better do that real quick. Hell oh, yeah, no, that's just a bro. Listen, I can't wait for my son to get like some dope ass side projects like that, bro. Yeah, listen, because we have to build it, and you know what I'm talking about too. Like we're gonna paint the yeah, balls yeah, and. Yeah, you gotta make the solar system. Yeah, bro, yeah. The only thing I did. Is it. Only thing I had to do with my son so far, we had to do a little Valentine's Day box. Me and my son went and printed out some anime and made his whole Valentine's Day box like a, a manga yeah, I box. You told me about that. You told me. Yeah. Yeah. That shit was lit, bro. I'll be waiting to do projects like that. I'm yeah, like, uh, is this your son's project? Is this yours? I'm like, 
Nah, he did that. <laughs> he did like, hey, I was helping him. As a parent, I'm supposed to help him. Right, right. And I, I definitely... My son over there playing video games. I'm high as fuck, painting shit. <laughs> like, yeah. Bro, that's what I was doing. I'm, it's so fun. It's definitely dope. Oh, dumb. shit. But yeah, uh, anything else we want to talk about? We still, I mean, we still got time. I ain't tripping. I'm, it's still early for me. I still got some time. Uh, this is the second episode. Uh, people have been rocking with us. I mean, again, if you've been, if you made it to this point, we yeah, appreciate you the fuck out of you for yeah, sure. For sure. Um, cause damn, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it 100. percent I don't even know if I've made it through a full episode of ours yet. Watching it, I it's, missed last. That's uh, an hour is a is, lot. Yep, especially when you're just listening to people talk. I mean, it's gonna probably like if you do it in segments, which I, I, I like. A lot of people, we got to figure out how to get it set up so where we can on the YouTube so we can click it. For people, and this is what we're gonna do for y'all. I'm gonna figure this out, I promise y'all, so that we can click it in different segments. So if you do happen to go work or you're listening, you'll be able to click it and it can take you to a, a specific segment in it. It's so like then you happen, can, right? Yeah. Uh, so once I figure that out, uh, I'll be sure to have segments. Even if I can, I know we go through a vast a, a majority of like uh, topics. So if I can find a way to like uh, sectionize them out so that it has like a timestamp. So it has like the certain topics, so people can just kind of go to the topics that they want to hear about. That's the next goal for us. It's, that'll take me a little bit of time. I think we honestly have to have this page up for like two months before I can do shit like that, though. Well, I bet. But yeah, yeah but that's just good. Future shit. You know, so they can just get straight to. It. Yeah, that's just some future shit for y'all. I am going to still be doing the music, movie reviews and shit. I haven't started them yet. Uh, Cause I'm still trying to get some shit in the books, and I want to kind of get a logo. Uh, what? What? I was just yawning. Oh, okay. Wow. But yeah, um, we're gonna try to get some movie reviews, maybe some game reviews. I am gonna do a game review of Baldur's Gate for sure, because uh, I just can't explain to you guys how much into this game I am. Uh, so, yeah, man. Uh, if you have what any game closing is that? statements. Boulder's Gate is probably like the best game I've ever played in my life. Yeah, it's interesting. Said that. What type of gameplay though? Like run it real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, type yeah. Shit or what? Let me let me say it in a, in a in a way where you can understand. Like okay, so you know how XCOM is, right? It's turn based. Do you remember play XCOM with us live? Yeah, I got XCOM. Yeah, it's okay. turn based, yo. Okay, so. Baldur's Gate, I've never played D and D. It's Dungeons and Dragons, so I've never been into that. I've but never played that either. Dungeons and Dragons is like where you can have a certain class of person, and you roll dice, and you can just do kind of your own decisions that you want to do based upon you know the parameters of what's mm-hmm. going on. So basically, you create a guy in Baldur's Gate. There's like eight to ten different classes. Uh, you can customize them fully, uh, and basically just do whatever the fuck you want in the squad of three people. Four like, that's dope. Oh, yeah, well, that's three dope. people other than myself. But, yeah. Uh, so, let's say if we're all playing the game, we're looking, traveling around, and I'm going around stealing some shit, we all about to be in jail if I'm around. Oh, <laughs> like, oh. bro, the, your decisions can count for everybody. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, it's, listen, bro, I've played, like, I've been restarting, I haven't met a single person who's beaten this game. Like, it's just so vast. And as far as like your choices can change the game and what yeah, happens, bro. Like, it's crazy, man. Like me and me and Jules are playing. Like literally, the slightest thing you do goes towards a dip, like there's a different story. Wow, and, I'm not to like, fuck with this. Uh, like for it's instance, uh, he he got uh, arrested for something. Then and I, I didn't even do nothing, but as soon as I walked into the room, I got arrested. Oh wow! Just for being his homeboy. Yeah. Creation. <laughs> no, 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 no. So I, I remember I stole from this guy, and I, I cause my dude's a pickpocketer, so I pickpocketed right. and I ran. And dude was like, "Yo, who stole some shit from me?" And Mickey was the only person to hold for that. Yep. Uh, so they said it was him. 
Yep. Yo, I listen, bro. I don't care. Listen, I am. I would have never thought that I would be into this type of game, but I promise you. And it has a ten out of ten. So sounds good. Yeah, this is gonna be the game of the year. Definitely. The only, the only, the only crazy thing about this game, and this is the crazy thing. So if Mickey, let's say if me, you, Mickey, and fucking Bot, all four of us are playing the game, and it's on your account. Nobody can access that game until you start it. Oh, Cause that's, shit. Cause that's your that's your tail. Like you know what I'm oh, saying? Wow. So yeah, if we do dope. one on my if we do one on my account, then we all have to make a new person and we have a whole completely different story going on my account. So we can have four different accounts going with four different stories. Yeah, four different people. And four different people, four classes different. and all that shit. Yeah, that's fire. That's Bro. dope. It's li- like honestly, I've played with like a, just just to play because every time you got to start over. So I've been playing multiplayer games starting over. Not one single game has gone the way that anyone like. There was one game I hopped in. This guy he stole everybody's clothes. Uh, so like all the NPCs are walking around naked. Oh uh, huh. god! He just he just went around. And he stole the clothes and he put them in a fucking chest and locked it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bro, who does that? Like, who just has time to make a person to do that? But I mean, when he says naked, I mean completely butt ass, no underwear, no bra, no yeah, nothing. Like, there's no sensor, nothing. It's yeah. Oh yeah, I unwiped I, I that one uh, on our story. I wiped that Lizelle bitch, whatever her name yeah. is. That's my Joel's getting married. I my bitch on that game. She a, she a fighter. Hey. Um, I was going to, Mickey, let me tell you, I was going to start a solo mission. I was going to do like a solo story and call yeah. it like modern day Tenchi and just have me and a whole bunch of girls on my team. Yeah, uh, there you me, me being yeah. in the bag and just having all three of the girls fight and my dude being a bard in the back just singing. Yep. Uh, That'd be fire. So, yeah, but that's... But, uh, that's, That's just the game. game. It's crazy. Even like, like it might be turn based, but like there's just so much, you know, like so many choices you can make. And then like if you're playing by yourself. Or fucking a goddamn giant. Like, as he was saying, like how you have to, uh, if you start a new game every time you play with someone new. But like if I continue my story, I still have Jules' character and right. Yeah, so you know, whoever he ran with at that time. Yeah. Like the team you make is the team you're stuck with. Yeah. So listen, I don't care what it takes for everybody. Listen, once we can all get this game. Yes, you are. I feel like we can definitely for sure have a crazy stream because then we can all be ourselves and just, hey, if you're going to go kill everybody, that's what it is. You know what I mean? Like, no one can. It's, it's just the, it's the, how the game goes. Like, that's what I have, I've gotten a game where people, they get mad. I'm just like, well, that's the that's the point of playing the D&D. Like, you can't control everyone's choices. <laughs> like, right, right. That's, bro, I'm at to what, get this shit. I don't have much free time, but I'm going to try to get back on this game and shit. Man, I'm telling you, once you get this game live, you will oh. find free time, and I'm not. Listen, I don't. I haven't even. I, I ain't gonna say I haven't touched 2K. I haven't touched any other game but 2K and Baldur's Gate. Oh, oh wow. that, damn! Like, like that, then. Monster Hunter is always just kind of in the back. I don't even. I really don't even. I can't fuck with that because fucking stupid ass monster. Oh. Right. <laughs> but everybody. I honestly recommend getting Baldur's Gate. Like, I'm not, I don't want to put my stamp on it and say, hey, I say this because some people might not like it. Listen, right. this is a game fun for everybody. Like, you can turn nudity off. Like, if you do have children and you don't want to have, like, those scenes, you can turn nudity off. You can censor shit like that. So it doesn't have to necessarily get to that. But just and that's being a game. Yeah, you know what I mean? Just being a game for like replayability and just going back and playing the different classes. And not only their classes, there's also subclasses, yep. all different shit that you can do. Uh, 
Mickey, I have a fucking a monk fighter on my other one, bro. Like, oh, and wow. there's there's a necromancer that you can get. You can get the book of the dead, and you can become a necromancer. Damn, bro. There's like the the number of like vast opportunities. It's a lot. And then I watched an interview with one of the actors, and he says, "I've been watching all the streams, and there's basically two hours worth of like cut scenes in the fight that no one has found yet in the game." Wow. So, I mean, man, they really took their time on this game. Yeah, and I know I'm kind of emphasizing a lot on this they, game. I'm, like, I'm going to have to fuck with it. Bro, I, like, I absolutely love this game. Like, any type of game where you can, you know, I like to create my guy and just do my own shit, bro. You know what I mean? It's like, Hell, you can bro. do your guy the better I like, correct? Yes. Bro. <laughs> I won't be playing a new game for quite some time, especially if they drop a DLC. Yeah. Oh, no. No, I'm you buying. better not do that. What? You better not. Yeah. <laughs> you better not. What the fuck is going on? I don't like you that, Ivy. <laughs> you better not. You better stop. So, what are we doing? Is that the end of the podcast? We can't have a hot one. Why are you being? Why are you doing that, girl? Me? I'm an actor. I'm about to do what I gotta do. All hey, right, y'all. So, all right, we'll wrap it up. So, go ahead, I'm about to wrap it up since you let it anyways. Uh, wait. Uh, that's the podcast for you guys. It's been the Broken Spirit Podcast with your boys over here at RSG. It's been your boy by the pool mouse guy in the room. It's your boy Live City and his son. Bye guys. Wait, but first, before you guys leave, I want to show you this track. No. Ah, right, get out of here, awesome. All right, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> it's your boy, Country Quad. And it's your boy, Joseph Joker. You catch me on Spotify. Yeah. 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 Yeah.